Nice. There we go, 500 KC. Holy crap, man, that's insane. 500 KC, dude. And no blade, so yeah, we're officially two times the rate over for the blade. That's actually ridiculous. Oh, man. I really hope we don't go through extra again for, uh, for items, man. Because that's really going to kill me. Alright. Oh my god, I just got another crystal weapon seed. Wow. Whew. That was slow, man. That took so long to kill that thing. I'm here for more RNG. You shall receive more RNG, brother. <gasps> oh my god! Yo, we got it! Yeah, we got it! 524kc. Yes, boys. Holy shit. Oh my god, dude. We actually got this thing. Blade of Saldor inactive, bro. How many shards do you wish to add? So 200 is max. I think we can go with 50. Yeah. That should last a whole long while, right? 5,000 charges, dude. Sick. Two items left. Nature Staff and the Crystal Tool Seed. And that's it, you know? We finished up the City grind. That's awesome. Alright, where am I going to put the blade? I think I'm going to put it next to the rapier. Oh yeah, that's so sick, dude. Oof, that looks nice, man. End game weapons, you know, end game equipment tabs looking extra fine tonight. All right, one of the only things my collection log is properly keeping track of is the gauntlet, because that came out after, so. Let's look at the overall completion, you know, what we got for the gauntlet completing it. All right, so 13 crystal weapon seeds for some reason we got trolled by the amount of those, but we still have some uses for it, I guess. And of course, the Blade of Saldor on the 524th Corrupted. So the Blade of Saldor comes from the Gauntlet, which is what I was doing earlier in Elf City. And you can think of it as a superior version of a whip because it has a higher slash and a higher strength bonus to that of the whip. And it directly competes with the Grazi Rapier in terms of the pure stats. However, the Grazi Rapier is stat-based, whereas the Saldor Blade is slash-based, just like the whip, right? So where's this weapon really good at? It's mainly good at the Theory of Blood because it is the second best in slot at Theory of Blood, behind that of the Scythe, because most of the creatures there are reach to slash. Now, you might be wondering, is this blade worth getting? On a main account, I would say mostly yes if you plan on doing a lot of your blood and you can't afford a scythe. For Iron Man who are interested in getting this blade for, say, your blood, I recommend you try out the gauntlet and see if you like it or not. So, the average rate to get it is 1 in 250 corrupted gauntlet, the hard version. I don't recommend the regular because it's 1 in 1000. So, yeah. And anyways, the Corrupted Ghana is actually quite difficult, I am not going to lie to you. I would say it's even harder than that of Raids 1 group, and honestly close to that of Theater of Blood, if not even harder sometimes. And anyways, if you do manage to get this blade by the average, you will get around 2,000 or so shards, which will last you 200,000 charges, so that's 200,000 attacks, so it will last you a very long time. And it'll surely get you a lot of drops out of Theory of Blood. Maybe even complete it by then. This is what I would bring, you know, either Void with this or uh, Max Melee with this. It's really insane. Look at that slash bonus, bro. Oh my god, 160, dude. Wow, that's insane. Alright, man, the real test, boys. This gear with the blade on the Blow Boy. I think we can hit 60, right? Already a 60, bro. I just hit it. I just hit the 60 first try. <laughs> oh my god, that's hilarious, dude. Oh, 52. I just hit a 52, I believe. Nice. I don't think that's my max max, but I think uh, it might be 53, though. Got it, boys. Alright, first TOB with the blade. I'm loving it. That's all I got to say at the moment. <laughs> So far, so good. First impression. 
200 charges a uh, rage, I think. Yeah, it's about 200 charges if I melee everything with it. And it might be still okay to bring like a substitute regular whip for like the easier shit, but. It didn't even matter. <laughs> I have my claws ready, dude. I would have survived, I think. <laughs> yeah, that's, that means I would have survived that one. Oh, purple! Someone got it. Someone actually got it. Oh, this is the hell. Alright, that's it. Ooh, the clue scroll. Let's go. I'll take it. Oh, it's on me. What the fuck? Why did I get a purple? Huh. <laughs> uh, uh, it's so dumb, man. Oh, boy. Good thing Mary J's not here, though. Just saying. I'm just gonna open it up. Just saying. Oh, another hell. Nice. 700 KC, though. Cool. I'll take it. Oh shit, hey, we just casually PB'd. Nice. Oh wow. Uh I don't know what our times were before, but yeah, we, we got a better time so on both categories. Oh another personal best? <laughs> oh 53! Yay, there we go. We did it. Nice, that was clean. 53 on the boss, baby. Here we go, Elite Clue? What? Back-to-back -back Mimics though, that's insane. Actually, actually crazy. Okay. Alright, let's try this again, alright. Here we go, number four. Nice, just hit 2500. KC? At the Zami boss, we're halfway to the pet rate. That's kinda cool. Alright, another two days later, I have stocked up on 19 keys, so we're gonna get close to 530 KC today at the Brio Fighter. Let's go. Oh, fuck me, dude. I expected nothing and it still hurts. Alright, I, I don't know what is going on here, but I just logged in today. We got people. A Viesta. Oh wait, someone else left. Man, it's it's wild out here in the Moss Giant Plains. <clears throat> oh my god! Uh, first kill of this task. I got the freaking claw again. Oh man, dude. I'm getting trolled. Oh, ho, ho, nice. I get an Armadale task for tomorrow. Let's go. Oh, there we go. We got it. Alright, we're done. Let's get the hell out of here. Five keys, and I would say, yeah, it took us like 20. Oh, this is actually really sick. Damn, dude. I don't know what happened, but they, they're piling on each other. So that means I can go for a three-way heal, I guess. That would be so busted. Come on, come over here. Come over here, giant chicken. What are you doing? Yo, you're trolling. Hello? 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 You wanna get over here, bro? Bruh, what, what the hell was that? And the last kill, I get some mine runes. 1976, 24 more kills, easy, bro. Next task, I hit 2k. No, not this shit again. Well, I can't do this right now because, you know, we got it back. I knew it. I was going to get the nature staff clue again. But luckily, I accidentally lost my first one. So I have a new one to fuck around with. And of course, it's probably on the last step. Probably. Close to the last step. Yes. All right. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> I died. It wasn't bad. Yeah, save, save. Wait, it doesn't work. Never mind. All right. Someone has to kill me. Skeletons doesn't work either. Dang it, dude. I thought the skeleton would kill me, man. I Like, someone mentioned the strat. I was like, you know what? That that could totally work. No, it doesn't work. Elite Clue, baby. We've had some pretty good luck recently, so here we go. Oh, what the? Ranger's tights? Yo, what is that? Yo, what is that? Dude, what's going on, man? The Elite Clue RNG is sick lately. Oh, cool. Is that like the pure set or something? Oh, right, right. Matches the Ranger's tunic and uh, all that. 
Yo, that's sick, man. Cool. Hell yeah, you can put this in your uh, Elite Clue chest. So where is it at? Oh, nice. The Ranger stuff is separate. That's awesome, bro. I hate the fact that it was uh, in sets. Like these, you know. Oh, these aren't in sets either. That's sick. Yeah, the ones that aren't in sets are annoying as hell, but cool. I can put that in my uh, stash. 548. Wow. So I'm going to be at 560. All right, they said yeet for the last kill, so here I'm doing it. All right, just did a 31 KC uh, day at the Sokano. Forgot to mention, so I did get a thousand steel bars from 30 Sokanos. That's great because guess what? That is 4,000 cannonballs straight to the Moss Giants. Pretty nice, right? Pretty nice. Oh my god, a third crystal tool seed. What? Wow, dude, that's insane, bro. Holy crap, bro. I keep thinking it's me. That's the third one, man. That's like one every 100. Holy crap. Alright, so this is 400. So Kano KC, and that's pretty much like half a point to the crystal tool seed so yeah man we're getting there oh you know what i should bring dude 200 iq i should bring a room pouch at Solcano next time so that way death runes cosmic runes and all that shit i can put it in my uh in my room pouch and save uh up to two inventory slots that's kind of cool i'm gonna do that all right, this is where the room pouch comes in. Holy crap. Nice. Didn't take up two image slots, man. I just got cucked so hard by that rock. What? Rest in peace, dude. I got a third H ring, though, but it's, it's not a goal, but it's cool. You know, it's really cool. Oh, that is so fat. Oh, my God. Oh, my Lord. 451 steel bars. Oh wow, I just hit 500. Holy crap. That's that's the real milestone here. 500. So Kano's, so Kano's. So, I think this is loot from uh, about 2 hours of Sokano. Steel bars? Nope. I got two steel bar drops though, so I'm happy. 800. Uh 6 mil. I would uh this is 6 mil in 2 hours, so yeah, I was making 3 one hour including the crystal shards. Oh, I got a fucking Sokano shard. Oh, oh what? Okay. <laughs> so you can put your Sokano shard into the Dragon Pickaxe. You can also revert it back whenever you want. So, yeah, I got like the ornament version. Oh, man, that looks so much like the original uh, Dragon Pickaxe ornament thing that you get in the original RuneScape. So really unexpected news that I got to tell you guys. So next week, there is a big update uh, with a new quest and some new rewards called Freemanic Exiles. Once you complete the quest, you have access to a new Slayer mob called the Basilisk Knights. And if you kill them, there's a chance to drop an add-on to the Natus Knot helmet, upgrading it to a even more of a beast helmet. I don't know what it's called, but it has six strength bonus, which is absolutely bonkers it's actually better than the surf home so it is a new best in slot melee helmet it is insanely good this is like universally good just like something like a uh, a fernic defender or something like that it's insane so that means i am extending my goals or at least my stay on mr iron bar i will be getting the helmet alongside my crystal tool sea grind and the nature staff grind and then you know that'll wrap up the uh return a few things to mention of course my french has open as always, yeah, it's a great place to hang out, ask questions about RuneScape, or just talk about things, you know, while you play the game. Also, make sure to subscribe and ring the bell if you want to catch up with future episodes of Mr. Iron Bar. I know you do. Also, if you want to catch the progress live, you can catch me on twitch.tv slash ricecup. I stream uh, six days a week. Anyways, that's it. I hope you guys enjoy, and I will see you guys soon with another video, hopefully within a week. Take care, and bye-bye.